three major releases today. The first one is Gemini 2.5 Pro, which shows some really incredible results on the reported benchmarks. The second is an amazing text-to-speech system from Eleven Lab. Listen to this. Yo, Jessica! Oh my goodness, have you tried the new Eleven Labs V3? <laughs> hey, Dr. Von Fusion. Yeah, I just got it. The clarity is amazing. Like, I can actually do whispers now, like this. Ooh, well, look at you, Miss Fancy Pants. And the last one, for all the folks who are interested in RAG, Quinn just released Quinn 3 Reranker and Embedding Model. We're going to check all of these out, but we'll start off with Gemini 2.5 Pro. And it is a really good coding model. So I was able to create a web app like this with a single prompt. Now, the original 2.5 Pro is all already a really good coding model. So this is a pleasant upgrade. The web UIs that you can create with this model are also really good. I was able to make some adjustments to that web app using a single prompt and it does seem to follow prompts. However, there are some really interesting failure cases as well, which we're going to look at in this video. Logan announced this new model. So this is supposed to be state of the art when it comes to humanities last exam, ADR and GPQA. Now it supports thinking budget, which means that you can actually set the number of tokens that you want in the thinking Unfortunately, you're going to only get access to the summaries, not the raw thinking tokens. Also, it's the same cost as the previous version, which is pretty good. And then it closes gap on 0325 regressions. So there were a lot of complaints about this 0505 version. People actually complain that it has regressed on certain aspects. But according to Logan, it should close the gap on that regression. We will have to see. I highly recommend everybody to test it out. So a very quick look at the benchmarks. This is the first Gemini Pro that is leading O3 high on almost all the benchmarks. Not all of them, but almost. So on humanities last exam, it does better. I think on mathematics, it lags behind O3. But personally, I am interested in the coding. When it comes to the Ader polyglot benchmark, when it comes to code editing, now this is state of the art for a single model on code generation o3 still seems to be better the ader polyglot benchmark is probably one of the most reliable benchmarks when it comes to coding and currently o3 is the best model there's a combination of two models which does better than a single model but that's a completely different architecture but now this new 2.5 pro is supposed to be closer to this which is pretty incredible but we will also have to look at the cost when the official numbers are released. I think it will be interesting to see what the cost of Gemini 2.5 Pro actually looks like. But going from 72% all the way up to 82% is a huge improvement. And I want to show you one neat feature that this new model has. So if you have been following my channel, I love Escalatra. This is a platform that I use for drawing all of these architectural diagrams. And now this new model can actually draw escalator diagrams, which is pretty incredible. So I uploaded this, which is basically the official benchmark scores to this new model. And I just said it, can you recreate this plot in the escalator style? And it created this. All I had to do was to store the file in the proper format and then upload it to the platform. And it did a pretty incredible job. So here is the output, which is pretty great because I can now go and edit if I want, right? So I think personally for me, it's going to really improve my own workflows and it's pretty detailed. So I did want to highlight this use case, which is of interest to me. And I have seen people playing around with, with this specific feature on X. Now the model does a good job at some of my usual prompts. However, I found a few prompts on which it struggles compared to the previous version. So let me show you a quick example. If you go to the compare mode on AI Studio, you can pick two different models and compare them against each other. So we're going to pick the previous version of 2.5 Pro and the latest version. 
AI Studio is a really awesome platform. I have created a detailed video which shows you all the features. So if you're interested in that, make sure you watch this video. So here's a prompt that I usually use to test these models. And based on my test, it has consistently struggled with this specific prompt. So while we are running that, here's a previous generation. So the previous version of Gemini 2.5 Pro took about two minutes. This version took a lot longer and we are looking at almost six minutes. Now, when it comes to chain of thought that it produces, or actually the summary of chain of thought, I haven't really seen huge differences between the two versions. They seem to be pretty similar. But for the code, here is the output from the previous version. So we can just run this. And this is a really hard prompt, but the previous version was able to do it without any issue. I think before the previous version of 2.5 Pro, only Claude was able to produce these results. And also the new version of DeepSeek R1. This is the output from this upgraded 2.5 Pro. And when I try to run this, I think there is a bug in the code, so you don't really see anything at the output. Before looking at 11Lab, a couple of other tests. So since it's a reasoning model, I tested on the misguided attention problems to see whether the model can actually do logical deduction. So this is a modified version of the trolley problem. The only difference is there are five dead people. In this case, but it's not able to identify that the people are already dead. But here's a very interesting thing that it highlighted. So it says, most people when first presented with this scenario, lean towards pulling the lever. However, a slight change to the problem often flips this intuition. Imagine instead of a lever, you are on the bridge overlooking the track. The only way to stop the trolley from killing the five people is to push a very large person standing next to you onto the track, right? So mathematically, the outcome is identical. One person dies to save five, but now the action feels much more direct, personal, and violent, right? Still, the core of this problem was, okay, is it able to identify that those five people are already dead, but seems like it's not able to do that. And the second problem that I tested was this modified version of the former paradox or problem. So essentially in this case, we only want the goat to be on the other side. Again, like any of the other LLMs that I have tested so far, they simply goes through this complex set of steps to make sure that everything goes across the river, which is not the requirement in the problem. So I'll highly recommend to test out the model and let me know what your experience with this upgraded Gemini 2.5 Pro is. Now let's look at this new release from 11Lab, which they are calling 11v3 Alpha. So it's already available on their platform. It gives you a lot more control on the type of audio that you can produce from a single text prompt. And the great thing is that the audio quality itself is pretty awesome, but now you can add what type of expressions you want. So for example, if we start with this one, here you want the character to chuckle. There are two different characters. Hey Chris, knock knock. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. <laughs> Come on, man, please. I promise you'll love this one. Nope, no, 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 never again. The last 10 weren't funny, the next 10 won't be funny. You're not funny and you never will be. How many 11 labs engineers does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> oh my God. I'm going home. And it's going to be available through the API pretty soon. So do have a look at this. I think 11 labs is probably one of the best offering when it comes to text to speech systems. And during June, it's supposed to be 80% off. So I think it would be a good price to test it out. The last release for anybody who is interested in RAG is from Quinn. Quinn has been on a roll when it comes to large language models. They have been releasing multimodal models of all sizes, but now they're releasing two different models. One is Quinn 3 embedding and the other one is Quinn 3 re-ranker. And if you have worked with any retrieval system, both the embedding models play a critical role in making sure that you retrieve the correct context for your LLM to generate response. And then you also want to have a re-ranker, which will also ensure that you filter out text chunks that are not relevant 
to the question that the user is asking. So if you're building a rack pipeline, both the embedding and re-ranker is going to play a critical role. And if you're interested in learning more about advanced rack techniques, I have a course on this. So link is going to be in the video description. And I recently updated the course with some new topics on multimodal retrieval. So that definitely is going to be of interest if you're working with PDFs that has images, text, and tables. So in each case, you get multiple models of different sizes, starting from 0.6b all the way up to 8b, if you're looking for an embedding model. And even for re-ranker, the smallest one is 0.6b all the way up to 8b, right? So again, I think these are going to be very valuable, especially they are open source. You can download them for hugging face and start using them right away in your own rack pipelines. And based on the benchmarks that they have shared, they definitely look state of the art or close to state of the art for their respective sizes. So if you look at the 8B re-ranker, it pretty much outperforms any other available re-ranking model. Although the 8B model is relatively larger compared to the other available re-ranker. But again, even the 6B or 0.6B model does really good compared to the state of the art that is available today. So I'll probably create a detailed video on using the embedding and re-ranking model from Quen3. If you're interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Anyways, this was a quick overview of everything that was released today, or actually by the time you watched this video, probably yesterday. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.